Okay, this is the uh, quick way of mounting this LED headlight into the 1982-1983 ATC 200 Honda three-wheeler. Um, they don't have a really good mounting system in here, so what I come up with with some things at home here is using Nerf gun bullets um, as the spacers here. And if you use four of them um, and cut them up like I have here and pull the tops out, we can really easily get this thing centered, glued in, and make a vibration-free uh, mount setup and, and get you set up for a installation pretty easily here. First things first here is we're going to take the Nerf bullet with a tip from another Nerf bullet. We're going to put it on the end here. And these go on the side, okay? So we just push it in there. We do that with another one, okay? And we're going to push it in on the other side, okay? So that centers this headlamp in the housing perfectly, okay? From left to right. Now, we have these other two north bullets that are cut up. Now, one of them you cut in half, the remaining foam, and you put it right here. And the other one you put right here, okay? And then finally, we'll spin this around. Hopefully you can see it better that way. The final Nerf bullet, we have four pieces. One goes here. One goes here. One goes here. And one goes here. You might ask, well, what if I don't have Nerf bullets? You can go and buy round um, tubular uh, insulation for round windows at any really home supply store. Um, this stuff, I guess, probably half inch would probably be the best size. This is hollow. Um, I think you'd even get a better fit if you had the uh, solid stuff. So just go ahead and buy some of that. It's really cheap and uh, it allows you to get this centered and uh, nicely installed. And next step, like I said, is getting some silicone down in here. So I'm going to use these corners as a spot to uh, insert my silicone and get it nice lumped in here. And the reason I'm doing this instead of any other type of glue is because if this bulb ever blows out, silicone will be relatively easy to remove. There we go. Now we got silicone on all four corners and a little bit holding in the foam. We'll let this set up for uh, a couple hours probably. And uh, once this is set up, we'll go and install this, do a little bit of wiring, and get it set up in the three-wheeler. All right, now you can see here, um, I've went ahead and put some pigtails on this H4 style connector to fit my Honda ATC. Um, if you look at the plug from straight on, you can see that the top pin here is my low beam. The right pin is my high beam. And the left pin is my ground. Um, I chose to grind this down a little bit so that it fit the stock Honda um, connector. Um, it's just kind of a slide over style blade connector. The other two, the high and low, are bullet style connectors. And I happen to have these in a small electrical kit at home. You can buy adapters for these, but none of them really fit the Honda ATC um, 1982 and 1983 models. So you kind of have to do your, your own anyway. So this is a quick, quick way of doing that. I'll put some links in the description for the right um, components here. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's, it's ready to go. My silicone is now dry um, for the most part, and I can get this in the machine. So I'll show you that in a minute. So now you can see here, I have my green ground going to the ground pin on the connector. I have my blue Honda wire going to the high beam connector on the headlamp. And I have my white Honda wire 
going to the low beam connector on the headlight. So there you can see it, it's all installed here. Um, everything fits nicely in the back. The lights work very nicely. You've got uh, high, low beam, which is the top row, and then high beam, which is all the rows of lights. So there it is. There's how you can install a more modern LED style headlight in a 1982-1983 Honda Big Red three-wheeler. If you're enjoying this content, please like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.